gate examination believed to be a highly competitive examination for engineers across the nation okay lakhs of aspirants appearing you know several working hard day and night to get their dream iit or get their dream psu uh, you know the problem uh, you know with the student mindset you know looking into any competitive examination be it gate engineering services or even any other category any other segment as well that you know many a times in the very beginning in the very starting we just have that thought incorporated in our mind that the exam you are going the exam that we are going to appear is a very difficult examination lakhs of students are going to appear what i am going to do will i be able to perform or not you know and actually before stepping into the preparation cycle okay we have the thoughts that something we are preparing is very tough something we are preparing is going to be very competitive okay and that's why we have you know uh, concepts developed in our mind that uh, you know it's going to be as difficult something like this you know like just almost very difficult as balancing on the single rope okay of course experts very very experts can do it very few okay but you know for a normal person it looks like a difficult task and that is what many students just always have that belief you know you know sometimes during the preparation cycles or many even before the preparation cycle begins and that is one of the reasons that you know students fail that is one of the reasons that students give up in the you know during the preparation tenure only not even attempting the exam with the full honesty because okay you think it to be a highly competitive exam yes gate examination requires hard work requires dedication requires lot of practice okay but how high the competition is is it what we think okay let's not think let's actually talk in terms of data yes so iisc bangalore for gate 2024 has presented the complete statistics and that statistics will actually open the story how, how the competition is and pretty much on the similar trend lines as the earlier earlier is also trend line will be similar percentages will be similar of course number of aspirants every year keep going up and down so let's have a look into it okay the official report okay and see okay from that what motivation can you extract so let's have a look into it here the gate 2024 official data okay let's have it for the ecwe csc civil mechanical as well as the da the data science the newly added paper okay now this is what was already declared okay but you know uh, we will we'll be going in little bit more detail like you know how many registered how many appeared this is what is already declared but how many qualified okay let's talk about that so ec 78000 registered okay but you know some people register uh, you know just because you know their friends or other you know uh, surroundings are filling the form they are not very sure they fill up the form okay but they don't actually appear okay yeah maybe they uh, registered but they did not honestly prepare so see a big drop itself appears Uh, a big dot, a big drop. You clearly see within the number of students who registered, who thought they will give, who thought they will prepare, but they could not prepare with honesty, and a drop comes here itself. Okay, so like out of seventy-eight thousand, sixty-three thousand appeared. Similarly for the electrical, uh, the uh, every branch the numbers of appeared is less than that of registered. But how many actually qualified? Okay, so like EC, it is thirteen thousand roughly out of sixty-three thousand. Okay, doubly it is twelve thousand five hundred out of roughly sixty thousand. Okay, for computer science it's roughly twenty two thousand out of one lakh twenty four thousand. Okay, for you know for civil it is sixteen thousand out of eighty five thousand, sixteen thousand five hundred approx. Okay, for mechanical it's roughly twelve thousand out of sixty five thousand, and for data science it's around eighty three hundred out of forty thousand. See. how many actually appear these are the ones who attempted the examination forget okay the students who just registered and did not appear okay they were just like least interested in the examination or least prepared both the categories okay they filled up but they were not interested somehow they failed or they filled up but they could not prepare with honesty so they thought why even to give the exam they are very sure from the beginning they are not going to secure okay so those were the students least prepared and least uh, you know interested in the examination but still even if you take the percentage of the students who qualified out of appear forget register okay this percentage if you have a look into this okay this is out of okay so to be let's be specific okay this is the percentage which i have taken say this is qualified and this is appeared this is registered so this percentage is qualified out of those who appeared Okay, of course, in two hundred. Okay, so I'm not interested how many filled the form, but how many on the exam they turned up. Okay, and attempted the examination. Okay, so they must have studied something, na? They have gone to the examination. Okay, so now it's roughly, you know, twenty uh, percent, or you know, between fifteen to twenty percent, or maybe slightly high, like twenty-one percent for ECWE and as well as data science. So roughly, a rough figure we can say fifteen to twenty percent. So let's say if one lakh students are appearing in the examination. Out of that one lakh, around fifteen to twenty thousand. Yes, only fifteen to twenty thousand qualify for the examination. And by qualify, I do not mean the number of students getting seventy marks or eighty marks. Okay, 
what is the qualifying mark trend let's have a look into it that slightly you must be aware but what is the qualifying data trend okay so you know it's around 25 to 30 for most of the branch sometimes it shoots high or like for the branch data science which was a newly added branch number of aspirants appeared were less and whenever in any branch number of students appear less that also shifts the qualifying mics high of course it depends on the level of the paper as well okay so it was 31 only for data science but for rest all the regular branches you see it is <coughs> between 25 to 30 25 25.7 27.6 for csc civil 28.3 mechanical 28.6 sometimes again for these branches also sometimes it may go beyond 30 like 31 32 but mostly the trend line is 25 to 30 marks is what is the qualifying marks you know even if you combine the weightage of maths and aptitude that is 28 marks if you just you know make yourself strong and being engineer making you know getting a command in subjects like maths and aptitude should not be a trouble for you okay so if you have command in maths and aptitude 28 marks let's say maybe 20 22 marks worst case you can get from there and even if you do one technical subject with honesty na, one easy technical subject which is having weightage 8 to 10 marks maths aptitude plus one technical subject makes you qualify okay but how many actually qualify it looks like easy this number looks easy but See the trend line is around 15 to 20 percent are only able to qualify. So now imagine, okay, how high the competition is. Okay, is it really the high that we think? Okay, you might be thinking that you are going to fight in an examination where 1 lakh students are going to appear in your branch. Okay, in your branch. It is upside down for some branch, it is 50, 60, for some branch it is more than 1 lakh. Like CSC currently competition is high, civil also a decent number 85,000. But let's take you have a setup in the, you know, mentality in the mind that I am going to fight among 1 lakh. Trust me guys, first of all, you are not at all fighting among 1 lakh. You are only fighting among 15 to 20,000. And that is also not the true fight. But okay, in the beginning, you can imagine you are going to only fight between 15 to 2,000. Because what I am telling, even if you are bare minimum honest, take command on maths aptitude or you know any 2, 3 subject. Maths aptitude, I am telling because it can be you know easy for you, especially the aptitude part. Okay, so maths aptitude and one technical subject if you take, you should be able to qualify. Okay, so you know, even if you have minimum honesty within you, okay, it should be, you know, something that you can qualify the examination. Okay, three or if not maths aptitude, take any three to four technical subjects, have a good command on it. Out of 10 subjects, even if you take three to four subjects, have a good command on it, you are able to qualify. Okay, but that is being done only by, okay, 20%. So guys, let's say these 20% 20 or 20,000 students, 15 to 20,000 out of 1 lakh are those who are, you know, like just having the minimum honesty. Okay, so you are going to only fight, you know, why do you want to fight between a person like you? You may, you may be deciding to work honestly and somebody who is not at all even studying for the examination, they just went and appeared. Okay, so, you know, that should not be a competition. We call it as a highly competitive examination, but truly is that guy, okay, who has not even studied two subjects, okay, yeah, maybe just went and appeared the examination, not studied anything. Is that your competition? I don't believe that is your competition. So, your true competition is at least who are doing something, some minim basic minimum ethics of the examination. So, your fight, you know, basic fight is between 15 to 20,000, okay. And, you know, they, they get, they get around, you know, 25 to 30 marks, okay. Now, your true fight is not even between 15 to 1000. This is what, okay, we can accept the fight is at least between 20, 15 to 20,000. But now, actually, when you see the number of students who score actually some meaningful marks, because here, if you qualify, okay, qualifying gives you a, you know, a valid gate scorecard. You are set to having a, holding a gate score, but it doesn't actually give you any PSU, neither any good IIT or NIT. Okay, so the number of students who get more than 40, 50, 60, how much is that on the trend line? Let's have a look into it. But firstly, before let's talk about that trend. Okay, what do you believe? Okay, can you not, not find, can you not fight between just 15 to 20,000? Okay, the competition will even be less when you talk about more marks. Okay, but let's say just, you know, you know, just to qualify your fighting only between 15 to 1000. So think it's not that highly competitive examination. See, don't compare yourself with somebody who has just go, gone and appeared. Okay, if you're ready to put hard work, compare yourself with those students who are putting at least some hard work and they are 15 to 20,000. Those who are putting more hard work, they will be even less. Okay, so first belief guys always have that. Yes, you can do it. Okay, and you should do it. It's not that competitive as what you think. You can achieve it. Okay, but you should have that confidence. Okay, because you know, the first step, you know, always for competitive exam, we keep telling you that, you know, concepts are important, practice is important, test series, of course, they are important. But you know, over and above that, what is important is the confidence. If you don't have the confidence within you, however you practice, however you learn the concepts, you'll always be doubting and you'll be always confused and you will always study with less efficiency. 
okay so first and foremost thing is have the self belief and confidence in you that can do wonders for you even some of your concept may not be great but you put hard work you believe yourself you can study and that concept can improve okay but if you don't believe even you know simple concepts may not be grasped by you okay the first thing is yes you can have that belief and go ahead okay don't fill up the form because other students are filling and don't compare yourself with a student who has just filled the form and who is just going to appear the examination without any practice without any basic hard work right so that is what okay now let's talk about some more numbers okay this will give you even better clarity picture okay like ec okay how many students appeared okay if i go back ec 63000 students appeared right for ec 63000 students roughly appeared for the examination and you see the highest number of students look into this bar the highest number of students okay falling in which category in the marks between 10 to 20 okay between 10 to 20 okay <clears throat> then even if you see the second number okay the second highest number is for the students who have secured marks below 10 only between 0 to 10 and third is also between them who have secured bit marks between 20 to 30 20 to 30 okay so see this is what around 30 15 45 and 13 around okay out of the 63 around approximately 58 students 58000 students are finished here only okay right those who have got marks only up to 30 okay again 30 to 40 also you will not get your dream psu okay for general category at least and for 30 to 40 also you're not going to get any good iit okay or any good nit okay maybe some lam last nits you can get but not a respectable nit okay so leave apart this one as well so even if you add 30 30 33000 30, roughly this is 61000 okay if you are really preparing your target should be at least something you get okay good psu top iit okay new iit nit at least something you should get out the exam okay even if you are not getting any of this then it doesn't make any sense you know to take up maybe mtech seat in a very 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 down grade nit because you don't get really that placements okay so your target at least 40 beyond okay the more higher the more chances of getting into psus and top iits to so see how many students are able to go beyond 40 marks okay i think only uh, you know not even 2000 is left okay i think i've done some wrong approximation okay it's around even if you take this 900 200 okay around 11 to 1200 around 11 to 1200 students are your true competition and this is only see this i've just in detail i've talked about ec but if you talk about other branches similar trend lines okay this is the the numbers will just change but trend line is same suppose doubly e, again look into the highest bar for doubly e, how many appeared okay for doubly e, 59 approx 60000 appear okay appeared 60000 okay okay but still the highest bar is for the students between 10 to 20 next is between 0 to 10 next is 20 to 30 and even some people okay are so talented even uh, you know somehow they are able to get even negative marks i even can't imagine how is that possible getting negative marks okay bare minimum if you don't know anything you can go and do two correct questions and stop okay but you are able to get negative marks that means somebody went and just played blind game okay whether he knows something maybe uh, uh, five six question he know rest he just attempted okay blindly tokka okay just guesses so you know that also is a talent to go into this one but anyways guys jokes apart so again if you see the major chunk okay the major chunk is up to here okay the students who have gone above 40000 uh, above 40 marks is how much here okay roughly here 1500 15 to 1600 okay what is a true competition it is again a very small sample space now okay now for the branch like computer science where around 1.24 lakh students appeared to so see a, a change in the trend okay when you know when more number of aspirants appearing out of that more also which graph increased now this time the highest data is for the students between the mark 0 to 10 <laughs> between 0 to 10 but again guys okay 46000 Okay, uh, let's you know this. This becomes eighty six or eighty four thousand roughly. Let's calculate one lakh, two thousand, six thousand negative. Okay, so guys, uh, uh, you know, I think around one lakh fifteen thousand consumed up to here only. Okay, or even more than that. Even more than that. Okay, so this comes out to be roughly. This is roughly six thousand. Okay. So C S C because the competition these days is high, but still, what is your true competition? Five to six thousand. Okay. so guys yeah 
that is what guys what is your true competition maybe for brands like cs or civil it is around four five six thousand and for other branches like mechanical ecw your true fight is around only 20 to thirty thousand okay because okay going above 40 marks see even if you study the concept once and only solve pyq no standard books no workbooks okay only studied the concept once uh, from some correct uh, book okay or from some correct coaching institute of course but don't take any standard books for question practice no workbooks no nothing not even test series but even if you study con con concepts with honesty and only solve previous year questions that itself can ensure you going more than 40 marks without doing extra much test series effort without doing much workbooks and etc so even you know bare minimum previous year questions and concepts you study in class even if you dismiss 40 to easily coming up okay but still how many are able to go beyond that line okay four to six five to six thousand for uh, for a high competition like cse but it is around 1500 or even 11 1200 for other branches guys now you think and decide okay because data always speaks okay and what does this data speaks this data clearly speaks that yes you can do it your true competition okay is not lax okay your basic competition is around 15 to 20 000 students i repeat those who just uh, are able to qualify but your actual true competition if you are planning to go around you know you know beyond 40 marks okay is around you know 2000 to 3000 or maximum for brands like cse or civil 5000 around okay I think it's doable it's not a high competition it's a very small sample space okay but you have to believe yourself again at the end i'll see you have to believe yourself and you are the one who can do the wonder so don't look into how many appear and register that is the reason i make this video for you okay that don't look into how many appear how many filled up the form don't look do just always compare yourself those who are studying okay how many similar if you are ready to put up that hard work how many similar candidates like you are doing that sort of hard work compare yourself with them okay so yes guys that's it for this video hope you have got some insights about the statistics of the gate examination where majority lies okay but you don't have to be a part of majority here here you have to be part of the very very small minority because they are the one who are really working hard you have to be into that minority and compete yourself among themselves okay so that sample space that your competition is very small with this, I am Rakesh Talreja signing off. Keep subscribed to OM YouTube channel to get more such sessions and also, of course, the uh, technical and practice sessions. Other than that, you keep getting. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and do take care of yourself.